Hey everybody, welcome to Kill's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's nice movie, Five Feet Apart. So it's about two teenagers who have cystic fibrosis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, cystic fibrosis, yeah. Um, and they meet in a hospital. Uh, they fall in love, but evidently, I don't know much about that disease, but they can't come in physical contact, so therefore they have to stay five feet apart or something like that, you know. Um, looks like a real cute movie. It stars um, Cole Sprouse. Sprouse. He's from Riverdale. He's Jughead on Riverdale. That's how I know about this. I'm a Riverdale fan. And then uh, Haley Lou Richardson. She's um, about the girls. Or no, wait. Um, what was that? The movie I saw with her in it was Support the Girls. Um, I remember her from that. She's been in some other things as well. She was in uh, Split, The Edge of Seventeen, you know. Um, but that's the one I remember her from. So. We'll see what we'll see how it is hour and 56 minutes i am db actually gave it a still on Haley, uh 7.1 so i think it's going to be pretty interesting i'm excited to see it so i'll get into it see what it's really about tell you a better idea what the synopsis is and tell you what i think so stick around i'll be back hey everybody <clears throat> want to do a quick check in here we're watching Five feet apart. We're at the 44 minute 46 second mark. Uh, real quick check in here because I'm kind of explain. I mean, our two main characters, Will and Stella, as they they meet in the hospital, they have um, cystic fibrosa (CF). They call it. I'm going to call it from CF from now on. Um, but uh, they're going. They're on an experimental treatment and doing um, certain you know drug regimen to try and help with it. It's a something with the lungs, so the lungs are failing, and um, the reason CFers can't uh, become in contact with each other is because um, they might catch each other's bacteria, and that would kill them. Ultimately, they wouldn't be able to survive from that. So, they say in the movie, six feet. The movie is actually called Five Feet Apart. I'm uh, sure maybe we'll figure it out. Um, but so far, so good. Um, they meet in the hospital. He's kind of the rebel you know, without a cause kind of guy, and she's very, um, regimen, you know, um, yeah, um, has to have everything, everything organized, all of her pills, all of her things, she has to go through it, and she sees that he's not, and she has a problem with that, she, it bothers her when other people aren't organized, so she's trying to help him stay on his treatment and work with them, um, just because it bothers her, and, um, so they're building this relationship, although initially, you can tell she doesn't want a relationship or anything like that. She just has to have him make sure he's doing everything organized like she likes. Um, but, you know, very typical. I've seen movies like this, you know, where the, the love starts out or the, the friendship or whatever. The connection starts out where it's not, you know, immediate, you know, love at first sight kind of thing. It's built upon and, and actually where the at some point, you know, the one person doesn't really even like the other person. But it moves on and moves forward kind of thing. A walk to remember would be one that I would throw out there for you. Um, and I have a feeling, I can't believe what you said, but I have a feeling that, you know, this could be a tearjerker for some. Um, I could see it lending itself there, leading us in that direction. There's a lot left to go, but, I mean, with something like this, you know it's going to be sad at the end. Um, but uh, that's it. I'm going to get into another character in it, Paco. He's another CFer in the hospital, and it's really about the three of them. More so about Will and Stella, but he's like a good, uh, you know, comedic relief. Um, so, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. I'm liking it. I'm happy I'm watching. I'm glad I'm getting to see it. So, just preparing myself for, you know, how it's going to all go down. Anyway, I'll get back into it now. We have a better understanding of what CF means and, and, and why they can't be together um, and, uh, physically. So, all right. I'll get back to it. I'll catch you at the end and let you know my final thoughts. All right. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> We're at the credits of Five Feet Apart. Um, really enjoyed the film. I think it's <clears throat> it was a really good one. <clears throat> Sorry. It's not because I was crying. Because it's, you know, I'll say this. It, there's, there's sad moments throughout the movie. Um, but I'm not sure it's... Uh, you know, I thought it was going to be a little different at the end. I think some people might find it sad and might cry, might tear up. I don't know. Uh, I didn't. Whatever. That's. I don't want to go into it too much. But, uh, you know, I do think some tears could be had throughout this movie. I'll leave it at that. All right. 
I, I liked what they did also. Um, so, uh, some things that I failed to mention in the first check-in, I don't know why, but um, Stella, who is one of our main characters, um, she has a YouTube channel. Oh, that was cool. So she's, you know, um, documenting or um, vlogging all of her treatments, everything that she's going through in her entire life. So I thought that was pretty neat. She also develops apps. So she creates a list on, on things that she wants to do, like she learned how to play the piano, speak French, that kind of thing. She also developed apps. So that's pretty neat, and you know, like how she chose to use her time going forward. So small pieces there. One thing that I was thinking about was how do they pay for this treatment and stuff like that? Is that covered on insurance? They mentioned something about full coverage until you're 18. So I don't know. I don't know what happens in that. But that was one thought-provoking thing that I had throughout the movie. But besides that, come back to five feet apart, right? It's always six feet apart, as they say in the thing. Well, they explain, and it's a really good part of the movie. One of the best parts of the movie is uh, how, how they came up with five feet apart, and that's why they titled it. And... I like that. That was uh, pretty neat. I uh, I really enjoyed the, film, the movie. I liked our main characters. And I liked uh, uh, Paco as well as our third character. Everybody else is just background noise. The, the nurses are okay too. Uh, but I did. I liked them both. Um, uh, Will and Stella. Um, I liked them coming into the movie. That's kind of why I watched it. I, I've seen them in other things. But I thought they, they worked well together. Um, and I enjoyed their performances, so I thought it was really good. I think it's an interesting plot topic. You know, I've never, you know, I don't know that much about it and how, you know, if you have these types of illnesses or disease or whatever, um, that you can't interact with other people with the same disease. So you can touch people who don't have CF, but people who, you know, if you both have CF, you can't. At least that's what the movie's saying, and that's something I've never known. So, I liked, I mean, it's an original film. I mean, you know, there are films similar, but like when they use, you know, this, this terrible disease um, to, to make a movie, it, it brings forward education, at least for me. It educated me on, on what CF is and, and the impacts of it. I, you know, I had no idea coming into it. So, um, I thought they did a good job, you know, doing that, making it original. I do think it was kind of like a walk to remember. Um, that's the, the closest thing. But I mean, if you like that movie, you'll like this one. This one's more a little bit more modern day kind of thing with a, a little bit of a, a twist on it. So, um, I mean, obviously it's not the same exact movie, but you get it. It's got the same feel to it. I'll put it to you that way. So, all in all, fantastic movie. Really liked it. Glad I saw it. I agree with everybody who had it in the sevens. I'm probably thinking maybe even an eight. Um, I liked it that much. Yeah, I liked the soundtrack. I thought they did a good job with that. Um, and that's it. That's all I got. I, hopefully you check it out. If you are into these types of movies, it's not for everybody, but if you've watched this, vi this um, review so far, I'm sure you're thinking about watching it, and I'm here to, you know, say, go ahead and give it a shot. And if you do, let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. And thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.